Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something's wrong.
Okay. I think this is the last one. That's right, Kate Walker. You have to go back and activate the piano on the square like the rector asked you. Excuse me. Hello? Now what? I see you're not a fan of modernizing the square. Ah, oh, the Council, in its great wisdom, deemed it outdated and unpredictable for the musical automatons to be triggered by the best student in the Academy, or a soloist, or a virtuoso visiting Vargan. Not to mention buskers, they certainly don't attract any tourists. No, what they thought was they would electrify and computerize the activation of the mechanical concert. So it would happen on a schedule, like an attraction. Did they do it? Oh, the talks went on and on, but nothing was ever done. And so the square has basically been abandoned. And the mechanical automatons have fallen into disrepair. Why is the Academy going to close? For the simple reason that we have no students. No students, no lessons. No lessons, no Academy. And why are there no students? <laughs> That's not a stupid question. Because the Mayor has taken away our grant that enabled our institution to become famous the world over. Why would he do that? Oh, budget restrictions, apparently. So, no staff, no students. No students, no lessons. I get it. But, between you and me and this counter, I'd say that's all just a pretext to get us out of the building. And why would anyone want to do that? To make others rich, of course. Property developers who are going to slice our institution up into shops, apartments, and office spaces, just like they've done with all the other buildings around the musical square. I'd better get going then. Quite. Uh, good luck with the mechanisms, Fraulein. It looks like this wheel is designed to activate the piano's engine, thanks to the dynamo effect, Kate Walker. Then I guess I'm gonna have to put my thinking cap on again.
There is no need to get sentimental, Kate Walker. The automaton was made for a specific purpose. It has no notion of sentiment. Indeed, I would go as far to say that it was a basic monofunctional automaton. Unlike some of us, more evolved automatons, built to serve several purposes. Wait, Kate Walker, I am a highly evolved automaton. Yes, and built to serve several purposes. Off you go now. I see. You still haven't lost any of your irritating habits, Kate Walker. Look on the bright side, Oscar. Thanks to you, the piano works now. Well, hurry up and make use of it like the rector said. Nope, I'm not good enough to play without sheet music. Okay, the sheet music is in place. The song I just played with the automatons, Wagen's hymn, it's exactly the same melody as the one my mom's music box used to play. I used to listen to it all the time when I was a kid. We never did find out what it was. And finding it today represents a major breakthrough because? Because it means that there must be a link between Wagen, my mom, and probably Dana too. Dana, who looks so much like me. Ah, a family connection then. I don't know, but it's possible, and you can be sure as hell that I'm going to find out as soon as I've picked up Dana's trail again. Come on, Oscar. Our dear Mahler owes us a file. Did I already mention how humiliating I think this is? Oh, you did, Oscar. 
You did. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoyed your concert so much. <laughs> now I can retire fulfilled. Glad to have been of service. I believe you have a file for me. Of course, of course. <laughs> Here it is. Dana Rose, just like you asked. Thanks. At last. This is definitely Dana's file. Now, the address. Dana's home address in 1937. A detached house, it seems. Number 20, Broca del Nebel. Hmm. The Bridge of Mists, huh? Found what you were looking for? I think so. Well, thank you. And goodbye. No, thank you, Fraulein. Very unpleasant way of traveling, Kate Walker. I know, Oscar. I promise I'll let you out as soon as possible, okay?
Okay, Oscar. Now we have to find Dana's old house. Do you recall the number, Kate Walker? According to her registration form from the Music Academy, it was number 20. The bridge is exactly the same as it was back in the 1930s. Except that it's cleaner. It looks almost new, as if it had been renovated. Looks like the residents on the bridge are pretty mad at the town council. There's number 20, Dana's old house. Guten Tag, Fräulein. On holiday in the region, Fräulein? Just passing through. Well, welcome to my little gift shop. Frau Heigel at your service. I must say you have a beautiful shop, Frau Heigel. Thank you, Fräulein. All our souvenirs are made for excellence, as we like to say here, all by local craftsmen. Were you looking for something in particular? Well, I'm actually looking for someone, not something. Someone who used to live in this house, and I was wondering if you could help. Well, there were quite a few owners before I bought the shop last autumn, so I can't really... So her name was Dana Rose. She lived here before the war. I was hoping to find some kind of trace of her here, so I could continue my search. I see. Well, I have heard of the roses, but I can't say if there's anything left of them inside the house. But don't you live here? No. My husband and I live in the suburbs. You see, the bridge was sacked just before the war, during the pogrom against the Vagrans. Oh, truly awful events. And then the neighbourhood was bombed, just after the war, during the liberation. And many of the houses were damaged, including this one. They were hastily renovated after the war, but they remain mostly derelict. You mentioned a pogrom against this neighborhood's vagrant community. Can you tell me more? As much as anyone who knows anything about Wagen, I guess. It happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. 
a few months after Austria and Ostertal were annexed by the Brown Shadow. What happened? Well, the Brown Shadow organized riots against Vagarans on false pretexts. It led to pogroms throughout all the annexed countries, including this house. Were the Roses home when it all happened? Like I said, Fraulein, I don't know, but I hope not. Well, it doesn't look like the house was damaged, from what I can see. Your shop is charming, and so is the rest of the district. Thank you. That's because after the initial renovation, the Council financed major rehabilitation work on the facades. But if the truth be told, they left the proprietors to foot the bill for our interiors. That's why my husband and I had to spend all our savings so that the shop interior shows the same high standard that we demand of our suppliers. That's a shame. Yes. And if the council persists in refusing to help fund the renovation works, there won't be any residents left on the bridge, let alone independent quality stores like mine. There'll be nothing left but bland franchise stores, like the one further along the bridge or on the musical square. So between the pogrom, the bombing, and the whole house being renovated, there's little chance of me finding any trace of the roses. It's not quite like that. To be honest, we didn't have the funds to renovate the rest of the house. So we used the upper floors for storing. Really? And now that you mention it, I do recall coming across old photographs from before the war, here and there in the house. The successive owners didn't want to throw them out, and I suppose they must have left them there. Would you mind if I went upstairs to take a look? Unless you would kindly bring the photos down yourself. Well, I can hardly leave the shop unattended while I go... I don't even know you, Fräulein. I see. In that case, would you mind if I had a look upstairs myself? Don't take it personally, Fräulein. But I don't know you enough to trust you. I'm very sorry. Now, if you'll excuse me, Fräulein, I have a customer. I conjecture that you were inefficient in trying to persuade the shopkeeper, Kate Walker. How are you going to access the upper floors now? I don't know, Oscar. By getting creative, I guess. What's that awful noise? Excuse me, sir. Oh, there it is. How awful! That certainly doesn't belong in my shop. We don't sell such cheap and tacky items. Great. I don't think Frau Heigl's noticed a thing. Why don't you try to locate Dana Rose's room, Kate Walker? Then you can look for more clues about her. Good idea. Let's just hope Frau Heigl won't come up. This photo shows the house partially destroyed must have been taken after the bombing that preceded the liberation of Wagen. In 
remembrance of the eternal bond between the Roses and the Zimmers. Signed, Adam Z. Nothing of interest in here. Just what I needed. Double bed, plenty of space. Must have been Dana's parents' bedroom. So where's Dana's room then? The number of rooms don't add up. portrait. That must be Dana with her parents. bedroom in the background of the portrait must be located in the attic. According to the light and the clock behind Dana, her room must face north. was a challenge for you to access the stairway, Kate Walker. I suggest you finish what you have to do upstairs before you go back down. It's been bricked up, most likely during the post-war renovation works Frau Heigl spoke of. That's it, Oscar. I think I know where Dana's room is. Enlighten me, Kate Walker. Well, one of the photos shows a bedroom that's not on the second floor, right? And we know 
that the staircase was bricked up during the renovation and led to another floor. So that's got to be where we'll find Dana's missing bedroom. It seems plausible, indeed. It does. And if we're lucky, the room might be pretty much like Dana left it all those years ago, and potentially with clues to put us back on our track. I've just got to find a way to get to that third floor bedroom. Seeing as you failed to create a positive bond with Frau Hegel, the next rational step would be to take a look outside the building, Kate Walker. You're right, Oscar. Let's go and see. <laughs> 